Mount Rushmore National Memorial has a rope access team that does a lot of a lot of work up on the sculpture for security infrastructure, sculpture monitoring, preservation work on the faces themselves. In order to access those areas, you need to have you need to be pretty savvy with the vertical world. <laughs> I started rock climbing when I was about 14, so I climbed all through high school, and I was literally the only kid in school that climbed. Being a New York City kid, I never really realized that you know, hey, you could have this as a career. It's just not something that the guidance counselors coach you about. Here at Mount Rushmore, you know, my position is park ranger, so I'm out greeting the public, I'm talking to visitors, but I often have my canine partner with me. She's a four-year-old German Shepherd from the Czech Republic that's trained in explosive detection. So we're part of the security infrastructure here, just making sure that the park stays nice and safe. What is my park? Um, you know, the whole find your park. and. You know, for me, I don't necessarily know if I necessarily have a park, maybe with the exception of just the fact that I'm part of the team. Just being in the National Park Service and, and, and the folks that work here are some of the most dedicated that I've ever worked with anywhere in my, you know, adult career. I'm a law enforcement park ranger and paramedic and canine investigator here at Mount Rushmore. My name is Dwayne Grego. The diet of the critically endangered black-footed ferret, one of the most endangered animals in the world, relies solely on the hunting and eating of cute, tasty prairie dogs. These all but disappeared predators live only in two Midwest region parks, Badlands National Park and Wind Cave National Park. Coming to you live from Homestead National Monument of America, one of the Midwest region's 61 national park sites. This year, the National Park Service is celebrating its 99th birthday. Woo! To commemorate this special occasion, we invite the public to celebrate 99 ways to find your park. Activities include walk through the doorway of a historic house. Become a junior ranger. Discover history around you. Set up your park passport. Brush up your national park trivia skills. How many parks are in the Midwest region? Oh. What should I have like this? I should have to like this? Celebrate innovation. These are just some of the ways that I found my national park. But how will you find your national park? Let's go. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, look, I'll, I'll be out in a minute. 